Hey guys, it's Friday, which means it's time to learn about some Photon Bolt. Also, say hi to my bird. You say hi, Chester. Hi. Hi. <coughs> okay, so the first thing we want to do is create an event. So to do that, let's go to Window, Bolt, and then Bolt Asset Menu. And we have been creating states, or we have at least been editing this custom cube state, but this time we're going to want to do events. So let's right click and go new event. And for this tutorial, we're just going to make a very simple event that logs when a player joins. So let's name it player joined event. Perfect. When you're finished with that, go ahead and click the compile button and wait for it to say success. Once that says success, you can go ahead and close down the bolt asset menu. And then we need a way to send the event. To do this, let's go into the prefab menu, select our cube, open it up, whoops daisy. And as you can see, it has our entity state. And we can actually do this from either script. We just need an attached function. But to keep things uh, clean, I'll go ahead and create a new script. I already have it typed in because I did this just a moment ago. But we name it, I'll just name the script player joined. Let's go ahead and create an add. Once Unity compiles, you can go ahead and open it up. But first, it looks like we're getting a few scripts. So I'm going to go ahead and create a script folder. And just name it scripts that we can just drag and drop all of our individual scripts on. Bam, 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 and perfect. That looks better. Now with that made, we can go into our scripts folder, open up player joined, and this is going to be a fairly simple event. I just want uh, when a player spawns in for them to send an event to the host. And first, let's change mono behavior to bolt dot entity behavior. I custom cube state is what we've been using. And again, I want it to be sent when a player spawns in. And to do that, we again use the public override void attached function, which if you remember is similar to start, except it's called when a player loads in. So perfect for what we want. And then we're going to make a var. You can name this anything. I'm just going to name it event and set it equal to the event that we just made in the bolt asset menu, which if you remember was the player joined event. Bam, just like that. And then, so we set var event equals the event we just made dot create. With the event created, right after that, we say event dot and there's nothing there yet. And that's because we need to go back into the bolt asset menu. And from here, we can add a message. So let's just name this message and set this to string. And you'll see in a second, whatever this is, is what we're going to send in the event. So let that compile. Once that says success, you can again exit out of the asset menu, go back into our player join script, and then say event dot message. Perfect. Because we just created the event we set in the asset menu, and we just added the message property, we can now say message equal to hello there. And the final step in the event process. You can have as many of these properties as you want, by the way. You can say event.send. And now the event is sent. With that sent, we need something to receive the event. And to do that, let's go ahead and create a script. And you can name this anything again. And I'll name mine server event listener. And then let's go into the game scene where our cube spawn in. I believe we named it sample scene, that's right. And we need to add the script. And we cannot just drag and drop because this is a script and we need a game object to put it on. So just create an empty game object 
and you can name it server event listener and then we can add our script from here once that's added open it up do some cleaning and then instead of deriving from mono behavior let's derive from bolt dot global event listener perfect so now bolt will be listening for events and we can also derive from the bolt pre-made uh, functions such as attached simulate owner etc and now that it's listening for the event we're sending we need a way to interact with it and to do that we say public override void and then if you look through there will actually be on event functions already filled out there's a couple of the pre-made ones and as you can see there's ours player joined event so now we have access to whatever was sent in the event if you remember all we have was just a simple message saying hello there so if we say we can remove this debug.log event.message when we start the game every time a player joins there should be a new debug statement saying hello there to test this let's go and save all head back into our unity and now we can build and run once it finishes building and as you can see we're on the game scene here but in our build it automatically went to the menu scene that's because in our build settings we have the menu scene as the very initial one but if we try to play this nothing will happen because we did not press the host button and the host button is what calls everything so nothing will happen if we try to play from the game scene but if we go back into the menu scene and we can save we go back into the menu scene and then try to host a game from here it should work host and then if we join we should get a little debug statement saying hello there and whoop, oh wow a lot of stuff is happening and that was kind of a nightmare there's 80 debug statements that is a lot so to make this easier on ourselves head back in here and instead of saying debug.log let's say debug.log warning you can also say debug.log error and what that will do is instead of putting it to the normal debug it will put it here instead so that's a little bit easier to read now let's try it out go ahead and build and run again once it finishes let's leave this searching for games and then host one from here and it should pop up hello there perfect so when our attached function was called in this cube clone it sent it to the uh, server event listener and the event listener uh, made a debug statement when we go back to this we should be seeing it's connecting and we should get oh we get a lot of debug statements so let's look at why this happens this is actually a pretty easy fix let's just go into the asset menu and then change our player joined event from everyone sending it to only the server and full disclosure I'm not actually sure what in every scenario you want either of these I'll put a link in the description to the official bolt website uh, and you can try to make sense of it there for yourselves if you so desire once it finishes let's close out bam, bam. and then it's yelling at me to fix this so let's just go ahead and do that uh, I left a lower case is server they say that's obsolete so just change it to a capital and it should do the same thing and now it shouldn't yell at us with the event sender set to global only go ahead and build the game and once it finishes leave this looking for matches go back into the editor and host from there Bam. and then we should get our one again we head back here when this joins if everything goes right perfect we only got one more and which is what we were looking for.